did my best to provide some backup information for uh, the other board members to review, and I, I, I trust you've had time to look at those, and I think they cover many of the issues that uh, I, would, I would normally like to address. Uh, I would just like to uh, uh, show my appreciation for uh, uh, the meeting up in Ganado, I think showed uh, uh, that each of us is uh, dedicated to uh, be open to listen to the issues of the public and to not be too constraining uh, when the public has significant concerns. I did, I, I, I appreciated the ability to listen to those concerns up there and uh, I asked that to be in consideration for this uh, return of the call to the public here so that we can, uh, wherever our meetings might be, uh, listen to the concerns of the citizens. So with that I make a motion uh, to return the call to the public to the agenda. Uh, thank you. Okay, there's motions made. Is there a second? Is there a second? Okay, the uh, motion fails. I do want to let the uh, public know that uh, I am thinking about this, and eventually, you know, in the very near future, I'll return that. But not at this time. Thank you. Sure. Mr. Sherman. <clears throat> I also have a uh, comment. You know all the meetings are being held over here at the Board of Supervisor meetings. If we're going to be true to the constituency of uh, Essie County, including Navajo land and Navajo Nation, being that there are two-thirds of the board membership is from up north. Maybe we ought to have two thirds of the board meetings up on Navajo. That would also be my thoughts. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. With that, let's move on to item 11. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I believe item 11 is uh, called for by me. Uh, since uh, this information came in, I've learned through uh, the county manager and the IT department that uh, there has been some progress towards uh, obtaining some equipment for potential audio video uh, uh, sharing uh, between uh, District 1, 2, and 3. Uh, so I'd first ask uh, if our, our IT department, Mr. Uh, 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 Dugdale, uh, would uh, just give us a brief update uh, if he's in the room on uh, what's what the progress is in that, because it does ultimately, as I understand it, uh, speak to some decisions we might make if we ever decide, decide to go towards the uh, vid, uh, live streaming. So if you have a, could you tell us what progress we've made in that, Mr. Dugdale? Mr. Sherman. Let's see, Mr. Dugdale is with the county? Yes. Mr. Sherman? Mr. Uh, Sherman, I'm not sure if uh, Mr. Dugdale needs to be addressing this at this time. Being that the, the way the agenda item is listed here, it's Mr. Brad Grower. Supposed to be doing the presentation, and uh, Mr. Uh, Dugdale is only here to ask questions based on their presentation. That's my understanding of the agenda item. But I, for one, don't want to go with this presentation because I feel that the board has been asked for it. And uh, yes, we do have our own IT department here. I believe that when uh, the county is good and ready, we can address this particular item. With that, I'd like to move to uh, table this item indefinitely. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. Your point of order, Mr. Yeah, uh, well, first, I would like to uh, offer a brief correction to this. Uh, I believe any board member can bring an item to the agenda, and so uh, Supervisor Shirley claimed that the board is not asked for it is not completely accurate. Uh, I, I do ask the respect of the board to bring items before the board. Uh, another brief correction is that uh, the item states that there would be dialogue also from the county departments of the technology and the communications department. Uh, this is an attempt to open up communications with, uh, with uh, possible advancements in the county. Uh, uh, I am uh, withheld from being able to talk to the other supervisors on these issues because of open meeting law violation issues. Uh, and so the only opportunity I have to communicate these issues with the other board members uh, and have dialogue is to put it before the board. 
And uh, I request the respect from the uh, chairman uh, to allow that to take place. I think this is important to the future of the county. I'm not trying to uh, present any products or create any uh, sales. I'm trying to open up the dialogue uh, to uh, move forward in this issue. Okay. Well, as the chair, you know, I'm not going to, at this time, I think, you know, we'll just not, you know, if I, I think, you know, if majority of the board wants to listen to this, then, you know, we'll, we'll ask the uh, county manager to put it on the agenda. But at this time, I think you know, we'll just not have the presentation of Mr. Weller. So let's go to item 12. Uh, Mr. Chairman, <clears throat> members of the board, item number 12 is discussion of possible approval of a memorandum of understanding between the Department of the Interior, uh, the Bureau of Land Management, Socorro Fields Office, and Apache County, establishing the county as a cooperating agency, working with the BLM for the purpose of preparing the low low CO2 pipeline project, uh, the environmental impact statement. Basically what this is, it's a MOU that's been reviewed by the county attorney's office that would give us a seat at the table as a cooperator to work with the BLM on the portion of this CO2 pipeline that was mentioned earlier by Kinder Morgan that's in Apache County. Uh, we feel like this is important. It's been reviewed, I believe, not only by our, our county attorney's office, but by our natural resource coordinator, uh, Doyle Shanley. So uh, with that, we recommend approval of this MOU. Okay, gentlemen. We I'll second the motion to approve the item. Questions, comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Three in favor, none opposed. Item 13. Yes, Mr. Chairman, item number 13 is a possible executive session for legal advice uh, for discussion of possible action pertaining to the draft alternative environmental impact statement proposed by the District 3 Supervisor and the draft environmental impact statement prepared by the Ad Hoc Stakeholders Coalition Committee that is being proposed and supported by the Eastern Counties Organization. I just need to tell you that uh, the Eastern Counties Organization did have a, a uh, meeting yesterday and voted to uh, support the Ad Hoc Stakeholders, Stakeholders Coalition Committee. This is on the Mexican Grey Wolf and it's the alternative to the proposed environmental impact statement that's being uh, put out by the U.S. Game and Fish Department. So with that, uh, Mr. Chairman, however you want to handle it as far as going to executive session or handling it in, in uh, an open session, but uh, that's the item. Okay. What are the wishes of the uh, board, Chairman? Um, I don't know where we need to go to uh, executive session for this particular item. I think. Uh, I'd rather go ahead and have a, a little discussion here, possibly, and, uh, and, uh, and then I, I'm for working together, you know, for some of the different uh, organizations uh, in the state, and uh, we've been working with this Eastern Counties organization for uh, I don't know how long, ever since I can remember, I guess, really, and uh, if they're cohesive about the uh, position, Going forward, I would like to support the position, sir. Mm -hmm. So, thereby, I'd like to uh, move to, to go with the Eastern Counties Organization position on the particular item. So, that's your motion, Mr. Curley? Yes. Okay, is there a second to that? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll, I'll second it for sake of discussion. Okay. And then I have some thoughts and comments. Okay. Um, you're Discussion there, Mr. Weather? Yes, uh, I appreciate uh, Supervisor Shirley's uh, desire to work with the other uh, governmental organizations in the state, and uh, I too uh, wish to do that when, when it's, a, it's appropriate and correct. Uh, the reason that, uh, that uh, Apache County uh, Natural Resources looked at this particular item uh, a separate uh, from the, uh, the Eastern Counties uh, alternative uh, was because of the uh, undo, the, the, oh, the impact of the Mexican wolf is in Apache County. It is in District 3 of Apache County. 
and the, the ranching organization 